Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Acrobat offers a variety of features for changing the magnification of a page view. It's important to remember that these Zoom tools do not edit PDF documents in any way. They simply change the magnification at which the document's pages are displayed on your computer screen. Several of these Zoom tools can be found in the Page Controls toolbar, but you must be in Document View to access this toolbar. To zoom in and out on the current PDF page, click the Zoom Out and Zoom In buttons in the Page Controls toolbar. Notice that each time you click one of these buttons, the value displayed in the text box to the right of the button changes to reflect the current zoom magnification. To enter a custom magnification level, click into the magnification percentage level shown in the text box in the Page Controls toolbar to select it. Then type your own custom magnification level as a numeric percentage of the page to view. You can then press the Enter key on your keyboard to set the new magnification level. Note that there is a drop-down menu attached to this text box. To select from a preset listing of common magnification levels, click the drop-down button attached to the magnification level text box, and then make a choice from the drop-down menu. Each time you make a choice, Acrobat adjusts the magnification of the PDF on your screen. To fit the PDF magnification level to the width of the PDF page and enable scrolling, click the Fit to Window Width and Enable Scrolling button in the Page Controls toolbar. To fit the PDF magnification level to show one full page of the PDF, click the Fit One Full Page to Window button in the Page Controls toolbar. The menu bar contains even more Zoom tools. You can select View, Zoom from the menu bar to reveal the side menu of Zoom choices. You can use the Zoom 2 dialog box to set the magnification level if desired. To open the Zoom 2 dialog box, select the Zoom 2 command in the side menu. In the Zoom 2 dialog box, you can then type a specific magnification value or choose a preset value from the adjacent drop-down menu. Then click the OK button to apply the selected magnification level. You can use the Marquee Zoom feature to magnify a selected area of the current PDF page. To use the Marquee Zoom feature, select the Marquee Zoom command in the side menu that appears. Your mouse pointer will turn into a magnifying glass when you hold it over the PDF page. You can then click and drag to define a specific area of the page to magnify. When you release the mouse button, Acrobat resizes to magnify only the selected area within the main document pane. You can also click the page to zoom in, or hold down the control key and click the page to zoom out. You can use the Dynamic Zoom feature to select a fixed point on the page as a magnification level focus, and then zoom in and out on the page from that focused area. To use the Dynamic Zoom feature, select the Dynamic Zoom command in the side menu that appears. Your mouse will appear as a magnifying glass with up and down arrows surrounding it when you hold it over the PDF page. Click and hold down the mouse button to select the focus of the magnification, and then drag upwards to zoom in, or downwards to zoom out. You can then release the mouse button when you have achieved the desired level of magnification. You can also simply choose a preset magnification level within the side menu of choices to apply it to the current PDF page view. To apply a preset magnification level, select the desired preset magnification level to apply from the choices shown in the side menu that appears. Actual size, zoom to page level, fit width, fit height, or fit visible. You can also open a separate pan and zoom window that lets you pan and zoom around the current PDF page. To use the pan and zoom window, select the pan and zoom command in the side menu that appears to open the pan and zoom window. This window shows the current page overlaid by an adjustable rectangle, which is the color red by default. You can click and drag the corners of the rectangle to resize it. Doing this changes the magnification level of the page within the main document window. You can click and drag the sides of the rectangle to move it within the dialog box, which pans to different parts of the page in the main document window. The toolbar at the bottom of the window lets you click the minus and plus buttons to decrease and increase the magnification. You can also type a magnification percentage level into the text box shown, and then press the Enter key on your keyboard to apply that magnification level. You can click the four arrow buttons that appear to the right of those buttons in the toolbar, to move to the first, previous, next, or last pages of the PDF, respectively. 
You can click the Line Color button at the far right end of the toolbar to select a different color for the adjustable rectangle from the drop-down menu that appears. To close the Pan and Zoom window, click the X button in the upper right corner of the window. You can use the Loop tool to apply extreme magnification to a selected part of a PDF page. This tool can be useful for inspecting and comparing image resolutions or other high magnification level tasks. To use the Loop tool, select the Loop tool from the side menu that appears. Then click on the area within the page which you want to magnify and display within the Loop tool window that then appears on screen. An adjustable rectangle, which is the color blue by default, will appear around the area which you clicked within the PDF page. This area shows the magnified area of the page which is displayed within the Loop Tool window. You can click and drag the corners of the rectangle to resize it. This changes the magnification level of the page area shown within the Loop Tool window. You can click and drag the sides of the rectangle to move it within the page, which displays those parts of the page within the Loop Tool window. In the toolbar at the bottom of the window, you can also type a magnification percentage level into the text box shown and then press the Enter key on your keyboard to apply that magnification level. In the toolbar at the bottom of the window, you can also click the minus and plus buttons to decrease and increase the magnification, or simply click and drag the slider shown on the scale left or right to increase or decrease the magnification. You can click the Line Color button at the far right end of the toolbar to select a different color for the adjustable rectangle from the drop-down menu that appears. To close the Loop Tool window, click the X in the upper right corner of the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.